Hello LEGO fans, Adult Fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of the LEGO Star Wars set 75024 the HH87 Star Hopper. So this set is for ages 8 to 14 comes with 362 pieces and here in the UK it retails for £39.99 um, that's the price from the LEGO store or the LEGO store online so before I show you the set, I just want to give you a quick um, view of the instructions in the box. So I'm going to start off with the instructions, which we can see here. Same picture that's on the front of that box. Okay, as you can see there, 75024. And look at the rear, kind of what's on most instructions, legosurvey.com. The rear cover lego.com slash star wars of the code and then we have the inventory the piece count on two pages we have there just showing one of the features which i'll show you on the main set when we get to it um, and then we have a total of get that in do focus 67 <clears throat> total of 67 build um, pages so you can see there first page bag one um, minifigures those two minifigures there's a total of three bags three main bags and I think in each main bag there was another smaller bag maybe two in the first bag um, but yeah so that's the instruction manual um, it came with stickers which I'll show you on the set itself when we get there but that's the sticker sheet um, that they came on so you can see there's one two three four five six seven stickers in total right so the box itself as you can see here again 75024HH87 star hopper you can see the minifigures that come with the set there and they are all new and again this is a summer 2013 um, Lego Star Wars wave and you can see on the rear, as always, some of the features of the set itself. You can see there, and again, I'll show you these on the set itself, and I'll review that in a minute. Okay, again, you can see the um, the mini figures on the box itself. Get this to focus in, which it doesn't seem to want to. There we go. Some cool minifigures on here so that's the box guys so I will move on and show you the set itself okay guys there you go there's a the set in all its glory um, I'm going to start off with the minifigures give you a good look at these minifigures and I think all three of them are pretty cool but you let me know your views down in the comments so first one up here is the Nikto guard can see he comes with this spear stroke axe piece. I'm just going to remove that for the time being. Okay, so let's get a look. There you can see his front torso printing and rear torso printing with the light bluish grey arms and um, I guess the belt piece in the middle. His face is awesome. You can see there some excellent printing, single sided face, but he really does look cool. Okay, so that's our first minifigure. Next up we have Cad Bane, a new version of Cad Bane um, for this set. Again, looking really cool. So he comes with a blaster, let's take that off. Okay, so we can see our front torso print in there, and the rear, and obviously different coloured arms, and his hat, it's kind of his trademark bounty hunter hat, I'm going to remove that so you can get a better look at his face, because again, awesome looking face, so he's got the blue head. 
can see some really nice print in there and his red eyes single sided really looking awesome ok guys let's get Bane so our final minifigure which is a bit of a special one this is actually Obi-Wan so it's Obi-Wan in Bounty Hunter disguise so this is Obi-Wan like I said and he's actually disguised as a bounty hunter and you can see there he comes with the long rifle with this additional piece on the end I'm just going to take that off and show you that separately and you see there and it's just the piece that they've put on the end is actually um, a lightsaber hilt it's a black lightsaber hilt as you can see there and that just fits on to the end of the rifle like so. so back on to Obi-Wan himself again excellent printing you can see there on his front torso and on his legs some really really good printing and his rear torso as well you can see there on the rear of his head as well there is a print let's say and his face is excellent see the kind of the tattoo there on the side of his face and over his eye see the print detail stubble beard his blue eyes absolutely awesome printing this is an excellent minifigure in my opinion with regards to the level of detail okay guys that's it for the minifigures let's have a look at the main ship itself Ok guys, there you can see the actual ship itself, so this is a single seat HH87 Starhopper, um, it's got an opening cockpit for Obi-Wan Kenobi, it has four flick fire missiles, which I will show you in a minute, and it also has a pirate speeder, which is probably the coolest feature on this, um, again which I'll show you in a minute. So if we just grab the set. Okay. So first off, I'm just going to show you that cockpit. Okay, so that opens up there, as we can see. And in there is a space for Obi-Wan Kenobi to sit and control it in his disguise. You can see the controls down in there, and again, that's a sticker. All stickers on this set. Okay. These wings will fold up for landing so if you take a look at that I'll just put it down there so you can see it in kind of its landing mode and again if you want flight mode you could actually have it in various different degrees of wings folded out if you wanted to um, but there we have them out we also have these ones here which do move slightly only that far you can see there as far back as they go. If we go around here and look at the side here we can see the flick fire missiles. So we have two on this side and two over here on this side. They're not your standard flick fire missiles, so these pieces here, sorry, these pieces here, it's technic pieces, you push those and it will flick out so actually quite effective as you can see there so all you literally have to do is push those there's no flicking as such okay let me show you some of the rear detail on it this is kind of engine stroke rear exhaust system um, detail on there which was quite cool some good tiles on here which makes the top of it again look really really good um, if we look on the wings on the top of the wings you can see here sticker there and again on the other side a sticker there round the front that's all one sticker there that side and again that's all one sticker that side and obviously here in the middle as well is also a sticker and there's probably one final feature on this which is by far my best uh, sorry by far my favorite um, feature on this set and it's a it's an excellent feature overall so this tile here 
actually has a hidden function. You can press that down and hopefully you will see what happens. So I will press that down now and not particularly good landing, but out pops the pirate speeder, which looks like that. So I'll give you a quick view of that. Again, another sticker. There's only one sticker on this, but there's that brown sticker there. A very kind of basic um, speeder. You can see there, and these two pieces here are what actually fix, fits to the main ship. So I'll show you that now. If you can see under here, there is a Technic piece here, a pin. That's actually what, when I press that button, hopefully you can see that. Press that button and it pushes it down. So our pirate speeder just simply fits on there. Press it on there. And again, by pressing that button there, hopefully you'll see this come down. There we go, into my hand. It's an excellent feature. Really, really um, quite impressed with that, as you can um, obviously tell by the amount of times I've said that. But anyway, so I think that's pretty much it for the features in this set and obviously the minifigures as well. Um, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, as always, please give this video a thumbs up, provide me with any comments, um, feedback in the comments section. Please go ahead and share this video. Really, you know, want to try and get some more support in what I'm doing. And if you share the video, that's obviously going to hopefully help me to achieve that. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, if you're new to my channel here, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, I do plan to upload many more videos in the future, um, and they will be a combination of unboxings, builds, reviews, and Lego hauls. So that's it guys, thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!